Solid waste management has been the most pressing environmental challenge faced by urban and rural areas of Nigeria. With a population of about 200 million, Nigeria is one of the largest producers of solid waste in Africa. It generates more than 32 million tons of solid waste annually, out of which only 20 to 30 percent is collected. However, some wastepreneurs have been able to provide an answer to this by taking waste straight from the dump, transforming it and redefining its purpose. These innovators work with different materials such as water sachi, scrap metal, bottles, plastic, tires and more to make ends meet. But it is not without challenges. These wastepreneurs are asking the federal government for support to ensure that waste is effectively and efficiently managed. Funding is always an issue because we are in, a, we are in an environment where people don't really understand waste management as a business. They look at it as a government responsibility. Do you understand? So trying to get fund, get, trying to get an investor to even invest in it as a business is difficult. Trying to get government to support you financially with it in terms of grants or any kind of um, economic policy that can encourage you is also an issue. Uh, I think it's because people are not aware, people are not educated uh, about it. We, we don't have a policy that says everybody should sort their waste in their houses, so everybody just mixes everything up and then it becomes difficult for we recyclers to then manage such, such waste. But imagine if someone in their houses already sorted their plastics, their metals into different waste bins, we just come and pick it up. Number one, we have a higher grade of material to sell to manufacturers and it becomes easy for us to, to utilize this waste and also process them. Some of the frameworks are there, but they are not being enforced. We need machineries, as you can see, we are producing locally. If to say we have uh, machineries you won't see any smoke here or won't use any firewood or, you know, it will be more automated. Meanwhile, experts on environmental sustainability are asking the private and public sectors of the economy to synergize and form a corporate society that will attract international attention for the world to recognize. What we're doing here is still at the informal sector. It's like the informal sector. The informal sector means that it is not captured in the formal economy. They don't pay tax, they, they, there's no wages, there's nothing in it. So if we, if, we, if we mainstream it into the main economy, it will be a game changer. If we do that for every 100 tons of plastic bottle, you get one megawatt of electricity. And for every 1,000 ton you recycle, you get two jobs. So if we recycle, the, the, the 4.83, we're going to get 26,000 megawatts of electricity. The waste management is one of those things that come with economic growth. And if we don't have plan to manage our waste, then it's going to be a serious problem that we're going into. So it is, uh, it is the best thing that could happen to the environment when waste is properly managed. Recycling is the way to go. All over the world, it is a kind of... Uh, it's always innovative. If we grow without imbibing environmental consciousness, environment consciousness in ourselves, then the future is bleak. You know, sustainable development will not be achieved. It is hoped that Nigerians will begin to tap into the waste management system and see this waste as not just materials or products that should be discarded, but rather as resources that can in turn build the future of the country.